In the mid-20th century, archaeologists in Spain made a discovery that sent ripples through the world of ancient history, a find that seemed to showcase the remarkable craftsmanship and ingenuity of the ancient Iberians. Yet, hidden among the trove of Bronze Age artefacts, there lay two peculiar objects that would later spark curiosity, speculation, and an unexpected connection to the cosmos. These items appeared unremarkable next to the cache of gold with which they shared a place. But as researchers would later discover, these seemingly rusty, ferrous objects were not from this world. To truly appreciate the magnitude of this discovery, we need to start with the treasure itself. In 1963, Spanish archaeologist José María Soler discovered a remarkable hoard in Vilena, a small town in the Alicante region of Spain. The treasure of Vilena, as it's now known, consists of 66 artefacts, mostly made of pure gold, including bracelets, diadems and bowls. In total, the treasure contains about 10 kilograms, or 22 pounds, of gold. This makes it one of the most significant Bronze Age treasures in Europe, second only to the famous Mask of Agamemnon in Mycenae. The treasure dates back to between 1500 and 1200 BC, placing it in the Late Bronze Age. This was a time of incredible artistic and technological advancements in the Iberian Peninsula, a region that would later be known for its metallurgical skill. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, was the primary material used for tools, weapons and ornaments. Yet among the gold, archaeologists found two artefacts that didn't seem to fit. A bracelet and a hollow hemisphere with a distinctly ferrous or iron-like appearance. This was puzzling, as the Iron Age hadn't yet reached Iberia. Ironworking would not become common in the region until around 850 BC, several centuries later. So, what was this iron doing in a treasure from the Bronze Age? Iron from Earth's crust requires high temperatures and advanced smelting techniques to separate it from ore. Ancient metallurgists, however, had not yet developed the technology to achieve the temperatures needed to process terrestrial iron. This is where things get interesting. There is another source of iron that doesn't need to be mined or smelted, iron from meteorites. Meteoric iron was, quite literally, a gift from the heavens, a material that was already metallic and relatively malleable upon impact with Earth. Meteorites have bombarded Earth throughout its history. They leave behind fragments of extraterrestrial iron, often with higher than normal concentrations of nickel. This unique composition of meteoric iron, particularly its nickel content, sets it apart from terrestrial iron and makes it detectable with modern technology. And this brings us back to the bracelet and hemisphere from the Velena treasure. For years, scholars were left with nothing more than theories and speculation about the origins of these iron artefacts. But in January 2023, researchers conducted a groundbreaking study that finally shed light on the mystery. The team received permission to analyse these ancient objects, hoping to uncover the true nature of the metal. Using a method called mass spectrometry, the researchers analysed small samples from the bracelet and hemisphere. Mass spectrometry is a powerful tool that allows scientists to detect the presence of various elements in a sample, even if the sample is severely corroded. Despite the significant degradation of these objects, the analysis revealed high levels of nickel, consistent with the composition of meteoritic iron. This was the evidence they needed to conclude that the iron was indeed from a meteorite. This finding was groundbreaking, as it confirmed that the Iberian Peninsula's ancient metallurgists were experimenting with meteoritic iron more than 3,000 years ago. The study concluded that these were the first known artefacts in the Iberian Peninsula to be made from meteoritic iron, predating the Iron Age by centuries. The bracelet and hemisphere were not only outliers in the Velina treasure, but also in the timeline of Iberian metalworking. Working with iron, even meteoric iron, would have been no easy feat for Bronze Age artisans. Unlike copper or gold, iron requires significant skill to shape without breaking or weakening it. While meteoritic iron does not need to be smelted, it is still a hard metal to manipulate. It's possible that the ancient artisans employed a technique known as cold forging, where the metal is hammered and shaped at lower temperatures. 
this technique would have required careful handling and a high level of craftsmanship, as the wrong move could easily shatter the iron. The very existence of these meteoritic iron artefacts suggests that Bronze Age metalworkers in Iberia had not only encountered this strange material, but had developed unique methods for working with it. Across various ancient civilizations, meteorites were often seen as divine or mystical objects. In Egypt, for instance, meteoritic iron was referred to as iron from the sky and was sometimes associated with the gods. Could the people of ancient Iberia have had similar beliefs? The bracelet and hollow hemisphere could have held a ritualistic or even spiritual significance. Perhaps they were worn by a leader or priest during ceremonies, or maybe they served as symbols of protection, their celestial origins offering a sort of divine safeguarding. This theory gains strength when we consider that similar objects were discovered in other ancient civilizations. The ancient Mesopotamians, Egyptians and even the Inuits of the Arctic fashioned meteoritic iron into jewellery, weapons and tools. They may have believed that such objects connected them with the gods, or that they held supernatural powers. It's easy to imagine that the artisans of Velina saw their iron bracelet and hemisphere in much the same way. Here's where we get into even more speculative territory. In many ancient cultures, unexplained or unique materials were often thought to come from gods or mysterious forces. Could ancient people have thought this sky metal was a message or gift from beings beyond Earth? Some researchers entertain the idea that ancient people, seeing these blazing rocks fall from the heavens, might have associated them with celestial beings or entities. As we reflect on the treasure of Vilena, it's clear that this discovery is more than just an archaeological marvel. It provides a window into the ingenuity, curiosity and spirituality of our ancient ancestors. They looked to the heavens and saw mysteries that science had yet to unravel. Today, the bracelet and hollow hemisphere from Vilena continue to captivate scientists, historians and curious minds alike. Modern researchers are still examining these artefacts, considering non-invasive technologies that could reveal even more about their composition and origins. Future studies might identify the exact meteorite source or provide further insight into how the artisans crafted these objects. But even as science advances, there remains an element of wonder in the Villina treasure, a reminder that we, like our ancient ancestors, are driven to understand the mysteries of the universe. And perhaps when they looked at these strange metals from beyond, they too felt a thrill of curiosity that has driven humanity to explore, discover and dream.